Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Ashley, I'm homeschooling mom with seven kids, ranging from 11, almost 12, um, down to seven months. So I had mentioned in um, a couple of my curriculum videos that um, history, we are in Texas, and history, finding Texas history, uh, material and curriculum um, is not very easy as it relates to homeschooling. Um, I will link the video where I mention what I will be doing for my um, incoming seventh grader and then um, my fourth grader as well. They will both be doing um, Texas history. He will be doing a little bit more in depth um, with like a textbook to kind of read on his own because he likes reading anyway. He likes history and that. So I think that'll be a good um, option for him. But I will have that link so you can look at kind of what I'm, how I'm working that. Um, so I will have two kids that will both be um, studying Texas history for this coming year, which makes it easy. Um, but I need to make sure that kind of everything is covered and that, you know, my seventh grader isn't, you know, operating necessarily on a fourth grade level and vice versa. So um, I've kind of had to piece things a little bit together. Um, I was introduced um, to the Texas Studies Studies Weekly. This one particular is Texas Studies Weekly. Um, I think they have a couple different states on there. Um, have haven't looked too much into it. They have like social studies, like actual social studies, um, you know, topics. Uh, citizenship, that kinds of stuff, um, as well as a science section. I have not looked into that um, very thoroughly, so I'm not sure what all that entails. But um, I got this in the mail the other day. I got this in the mail the other day, and um, I was really excited to open it. Um, it looks great from what I can tell so far. So I'm just going to kind of show you what it comes with. This is the Texas Studies Weekly. So this is Texas history material. It is labeled for fourth grade, um, but my seventh grader will be kind of, they'll both be doing a joint lesson and then he will kind of do um, some additional reading on the side. Because, I mean, Texas history is Texas history. Like, I, I, you can go simple, but if they're kind of close together in age, I feel like you can really kind of um, pair them together to learn this. So, what it comes with first, that I saw these and I did not expect these to be this large but you can see <laughs> um, these are the weeks so each I'm trying to see here okay yeah so they have it they have it just grouped like it looks like by fives fives or tens depending um, is your actual newspaper article um, it is Probably what we will do for this is um, read alouds um, with the newspaper part. Um, it has the story. So for example, the first, um, it'll tell you which week here. So this, it'll say the week here, and then it'll have the topic um, listed here. So where in the world are we? Basically kind of the geography of um, Texas. And then let me separate this because it's a very small little newspaper for each week, but they're pretty large. Um, yes, yeah, so then it just kind of talks about the geography here. And then talking about settling Texas, different regions that, that Texas has. So just kind of basically an introduction. Um, some cool pictures from way early on, Galveston Seawall, um, and then on the back, it has crossword puzzles, um, creating a map of your school or homeschool, oh, um, <laughs> and um, a let's write. So just like a little writing section. So this one um, asks to write a letter to a group of people in Europe who pretend to be Texas cowboys on the weekend. Tell them about the Texas that you know. Describe the land, the weather. Etc. So this is just kind of this first one is just kind of an introduction. Um, we have Texas oil changes the world. Then we go into um, let's see Indian American Indians, um, and I think all the topics I believe are listed online as well, so that you can look and see. It's a pretty good. 
I feel like it's in depth enough to where it doesn't just like overlook a bunch of things. Um, but it's not, and it's not too like time consuming either, because that's also what I didn't really want was it to be super time consuming. I wanted it to be something that we could learn and them actually enjoy learning about it. Um, because there's a lot of history behind it. Now with that comes, I need to put this in a binder, but I went ahead and opened it so that I could show you. But, um, a thick teacher resource guide. So this, um, I think a lot of it um, could be used in public school as well. So there's a, I think there's more information here and more resources in here that um, you wouldn't necessarily have to use in homeschool if you don't want to, but you can if you want. Um, so the weekly curriculum map, it looks like it goes through each week, tells you the, um, the topic for each week and what it entails. So that goes all the way to, yes, so 30, uh, week 32 it says. And then um, I guess it talks about some um, teacher resources as far, just I think more in depth to where you wouldn't necessarily use this in homeschool. But, um, cause they talk about the star test in Texas, they do the star test, um, which is just kind of like, um, it used to be called, what is it when I was in school, tax or toss or something. Um, so they do something called the star test where um, just basically a standardized test. Um, and so this kind of goes through that, which obviously, well, in Texas, in, as homeschoolers, you don't have to take this test. So this, it, it goes into that, which is a little bit unnecessary for our lifestyle, um, but that's okay. So they also have a literature links page, which says for each week, what um, books would go good for that. And I haven't looked at any of these. I don't know if these are like read alouds or if they're more, um, I'm not sure if they are more like, you know, just additional readers that you could have them do, um, you know, on their own as, as you go through each week. It also, so for example, week one has one, two, so it has two pages front and back. It has um, theme words that it lists here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but um, theme words here, the suggested literature um, has teacher questions and answers to where if you wanted to, you know, have them think further into the subject and the topic, then you could do that. Um, on the back, let's see, it has more teacher questions. It has things that they should know um, after reading this information, after reading the lesson, um, which I guess could be kind of like little, I don't know, quizzes or you know, mini quizzes or whatnot after each lesson. So it comes with these math connection. So what they do is they kind of connect the dots to math as it relates to Texas history. So for example, this one says, um, let's see, uh, El Paso is in the Big Bend region. Beaumont is in the Coastal Plains region. There are 810 miles apart. Which of the following answer choices is the correct way to write this number in words? So it connects facts that you might have just read about um, and puts it in like math questions, if that makes sense. The back um, of this particular lesson is a My Regions flip book here. Um, and then they have a, okay, so here's a week one assessment. So they have the questions here and the questions here on the back. Um, so really, I am very pleased with this. Um, I do not think, like I said, that I will do everything that it is asking because I think that's kind of overkill or not that homeschool does less <laughs> than public school. Um, but as it relates to like star testing and things like that, there's a lot of that in here and we don't do that. My um, oldest did do that in third grade because that was his last year in public school. So he did do um, a STAR test. It stresses so many kids out though. That's a, that's a whole nother thing. But anyway, 
I think if you look up the the suggested literature and you can do read alouds with that and they can also you know in downtime if they want to um, and they enjoy the particular topic for that week I may I, I really enjoy um, like 1800s history and and whatnot um, not specifically to Texas but just overall and so I really like reading about that and there are videos and things that you can, you know, Google and look up on YouTube and um, that I think would be really interesting. And um, so the suggested literature, I'm gonna look at those as maybe um, if I plan a month at a time, I will look at those and see um, if that's something that I think we could do as a read aloud or something that I think they would do well with, um, you know, on their own, that they could read on their own. So this is 32 weeks worth. Um, I do not plan, I usually alternate history and science. So I do not do history or social studies every uh, day. That um, is just a lot. So we alternate, and I know a lot of people do this, alternate um, history and science. So two days a week at most if you wanna do three, um, if you want to do five, that's fine. Uh, but that is how we do it. So I am really looking forward to this. I think it'll be really good. I think it'll be enough um, to to um, to give them enough information for Texas history for this year. And um, I will see as we go on to the years and as they are not, you know, as my older two will not obviously be doing the same studies in history every year, um, because my older, my older kiddo, I will be seeing exactly what they would be doing in public school um, as far as history goes and things like that. So now that we're kind of getting a little bit higher grades, I need to kind of narrow his down and not just kind of do anything that he wants to do. I want to be able to know that he knows what he's what he's supposed to know or what he should know um so that is that if you have any questions let me know um like i said i um talked about this in a video and um i was really excited to see that this was an option because um there are not many for texas history so let me know if you have any questions about it and i can give you guys a um kind of an update when we get started on it and let you know how it works and let you know kind of what i eliminated within the lessons and if i added anything in etc um all right guys i will see you next time thanks bye